Benting Chinese Bahasa Indonesia, China Benting or Tianghoa Benting are a Chinese Indonesian community of Peranakan or mixed descent, native to the historic Tangerang area in the modern day Indonesian provinces of Jakarta, Banten, and West Java. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name, Benting, is derived from the Malay word for fortress, used formerly to refer to the historic Tangerang area. It refers to a colonial fortress on the banks of the Sisidane River, built by the Dutch East India Company in the 17th century as part of their defence system against the neighbouring Sultanate of Banten. History Origin Topic. According to a Sundanese manuscript Tina Le Yang Parahyang notes from Parahyangan, the Chinese community of Batavia and Tangerang has existed since at least 1407 CE. This manuscript recounts the arrival of among the earliest Chinese migrants to the area, led by a certain Tjentjie Lung, also dubbed Halung. They landed at the mouth of the Sisidane River, now called Telik Naga Dragon's Bay. .Subsequent waves of Chinese immigration from the 17th century onwards took place under the auspices of the Dutch East India Company. Bone Tech Bio, the oldest Chinese temple in Tangerang, was built by the community in 1684. Some Benting Chinese trace their origin to those fleeing Batavia during the Chinese Massacre of 1740. Contribution to Dutch colonialism Topic. Many ethnic Chinese allies and officials of the Dutch colonial authorities held office see, Capitan China, and owned landed estates particular in the historic Tangerang area. The historian Mona Lohanda, herself a Benting Chinese, goes so far as to say that, Tangerang was practically a Chinese private domain. p. 258. These landlords and bureaucrats also sponsored a large-scale migration of Chinese indentured laborers, who played a crucial role in the agricultural and economic development of the region. Revolution in the Indonesian Revolution from 1945 to 1949, tension rose between indigenous Indonesians and Benting Chinese, who were perceived to be in favor of the Dutch colonial status quo. On 23 June 1946, riots targeting Benting Chinese homes broke out in Tangerang, where revolutionary militiamen sympathetic to the Indonesian Republican cause looted Chinese possessions, including Chinese prayer tables. These riots were apparently triggered by placement of an Indonesian flag with a Dutch flag by a Dutch colonial army soldier of Chinese descent. Indonesian journalist Rosahan Anwar wrote in the Merdeka Daily on 13 June 1946 that relationship between native and Chinese Indonesians had reached an all-time low. Conditions worsened after Pawan Tui, a pro-Dutch Benting Chinese youth group, mobilized armed groups to evacuate Benting Chinese residents to Batavia. Anti-Chinese rioting was successfully suppressed by the alliance of Pawan Tui and Dutch colonial troops. At the time, nearly the entire Benting Chinese population was displaced, and upon returning, they found that their properties were no longer intact, their land holdings had been confiscated or their homes had been looted. Upon Indonesian independence, Tangerang was the last part of Java to be handed over to the Republic of Indonesia by the Dutch. Traditional dress Topic. The traditional dress of the Benting Chinese is a mixture of the Chinese traditional dress mostly of Hokkien heritage and the Batawi traditional dress. The males wear a black shirt and long pants with a traditional hat in conical shape. The female dress called Wa Kun is a blouse with headdress and veil. An alternative costume is the Kabaya Ensam of Peranakan heritage. Benting Chinese today Topic. Benting Chinese culture today is a mixture of Batawi and Chinese cultures. One example is Kokik, a dance featuring a male and female couple set to gambing kraming music. 
Religiously, the Benting Chinese adhere to Confucianism, Buddhism, Taoism, Catholicism, Protestantism, ancestor worship, and few adhere to Islam. Even if most Benting Chinese do not speak Chinese language, they maintain Chinese traditions including the use of Qing wedding costumes. Topic. Prominent Benting Chinese Topic. Notable people with Benting Chinese heritage or ties include Tan Eng Gon, the first Major der Chinizen of Batavia 1802-1872, bureaucrat and landlord. Oegiok Kone, Kapitän der Chinizen died in 1912, bureaucrat, landlord and social activist. Oedjie San, Kapitän der Chinizen died in 1925, bureaucrat, landlord and social activist. Tan Liak Tiao (1872–1947), colonial landlord, plantation owner, and industrialist. Mona Lohanda, historian and academic. Adaya Halim, born in 1953, entrepreneur and heritage activist. Topic. See also. Topic. Bone Tech Bio, the oldest Chinese temple in Tangerang. Benting Heritage Museum, a local museum highlight Benting Chinese heritage and culture. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic.